GLEC's got a northern, northern region strategy. Um, it's to ensure that there's a pipeline of R&D coming to growers which is uh, going to answer their questions both here, now and also into the future. So we're trying to look over the horizon. Um, the other major part of the strategy is making sure that the region has the um, capacity and capability in R&D to deliver uh, for the next 20 years. Um, it's really important that we continue to develop researchers as well as continue to look at research for the future. The strategy will deliver benefits to growers both now and well into the future. We're looking at short-term measures, so answering growers' immediate questions, and we tend to do that through our grower solutions groups, um, and we have an investment window there which we call one to three. Um, so that has our updates and our workshops and, and the stuff that, that growers attend regularly. The, the, the next part of the strategy or the next window of delivery is really where we work with the universities and the departments of agriculture traditionally and with the key researchers that growers would be very familiar with. Um, and that's looking at the, the immediate issues but also looking at what issues are coming over the horizon in the next four to five years. Um, and finally we have our breeding and pre-breeding which are really long-term investments where GRDC is trying to find traits that are going to benefit growers into the futures futures such as water use efficiency and disease resistance. As you'd be aware, GRDC's just recently moved the, the boundary of the northern region down to the Murray. Um, that I think will be a big benefit for growers within New South Wales. It means we have both Tamworth and Wagga looking at delivering research right across New South Wales and they're two of our major research centres. Um, I see it as a major benefit for growers in that central west area of New South Wales because traditionally they've been um, at the bottom of the northern region and the top of the southern region and um, probably haven't been the centre of attention like they are now in New South Wales. And it's a very big grain production area. Um, and, you know, the old idea that summer crops stopped north of Dubbo is gone. Uh, I think there's a, the, we're seeing crops now all the way down, virtually down to the border. So I think it'll allow us to do R&D and certainly deliver outputs to grower in a much more efficient way. I don't think there'll be an issue with the extending of the northern rd and &E strategy across the whole of New South Wales. Uh, I actually see some really major benefits in doing that. It allows Tamworth and Wagga to work as one and you know they're major R&D centres for um, New South Wales so I think we can now see those working together. I think we can le link our key researchers um, in particularly in areas like pathology and soils, um, I think there's going to be some real strength in that, in that for, for growers going forward. The key research priorities for the northern region um, are still weed, weed resistance, herbicide resistance, um, and are still nutrition. I think nutrition's the growing one. Certainly talking to more and more growers, they're realising that you know, they, they're needing to put more on um, that's a challenge because, you know, certainly in some areas it's been really tough with the environment we've got and we, you know, we're not, we don't want to increase growers' costs, but they're still the two major issues that we're working on. Um, and uh, we're certainly seeing growers wanting more money spent there and better delivery.